Oh. Well, it's 36 this morning. Ow. My roosters are fighting. Let me go take care of this. All right, apparently they figured it out. Anyway, good morning. It's 36 degrees out. We actually had a uh, frost warning last night. So I ended up covering up some plants last night out in the field. And of course I've got the heater running in the greenhouse. I don't really see any frost, so maybe it missed us. That would be good. Well. <laughs> What's the matter? All right. Well, that's weird. Nesta started barking, so I made her come here with me, and she's also shivering, so. Huh. And of course, the crows flew over our house. I don't know what they were harassing, but they're always harassing something. All right, time to let the chickens out. Oh, baby, what? We're gonna go back inside, it's cold. Let me feed the chickens. Big boy. Good morning, big boy. I know it's chilly out here. And there's Mr. Todd. He's actually spending the nights in the coop, but apparently there's still conflict. Now, I do not know what she's up to. She keeps heading back to the barn. Well, she decided to come back up here by me. I don't know what she smells or sees. I don't see anything. And I don't have my knife. I don't have any protect protection other than my camera and uh, my containers of empty feed. All right, so yeah, now she's making me anxious. I'm gonna go ahead and check the greenhouse real quick. So let's see what the temperature is inside there. When I first walked in, it said 49. So as soon as I opened up the, um, the door on the greenhouse, it went down a, a degree. But it's better than uh, freezing, that's for sure. But uh, again, this thing's not keeping this place uh, warm enough. But for right now, it'll have to do. I'm going to have, actually, I'm going to make one complaint this morning. I really do not like having to get up and put on a jacket to come outside first thing in the morning. <sighs> Am I lazy? Hell yeah. It's so much easier just to walk outside in your pajamas. <laughs> Feed the chickens and go back in and drink coffee. So, and here I am, fully dressed, including jacket. Oh, I even brushed my hair. <laughs> but, like I said, it's time to go back in. It's time to start my coffee. So, uh, I can lose myself in a few minutes of social media before I have to get back out here and start the rest of my day because I have a lot I have to do today. Just finished breakfast and now I need to get down here to the field and get sheets off of my uh, plants that I covered last night because we were supposed to have frost. So that's my next chore. I just came in here to uh, 
turn off my heater because I knew it was probably starting to get warm in here. Uh, my glasses are kind of fogged at the moment. Well, outside it's 61 degrees and I'm like, yeah, it should be getting pretty warm. Time to turn off the heater. Yeah, it's 90 degrees in here and very muggy. So <laughs> I'm thankful I came out here when I did to turn this off. So I'm, I'm sure the plants love it, but I cannot see a thing. So it works great during the mornings and then in the after and the afternoon, it keeps it nice and toasty in here. I just wished it worked that well in the middle of the night when it's in the 40s and 30s. Oh well, can't have everything. This is my corn spreader, corn feeder. I don't know what you call it, but my problem is, is that a raccoon pulled out the wires. Now, my husband bought a whole new replacement set for this and I have put it somewhere and I can't find it. So I'm going to pull the battery out, charge it, and while it's out, I'm going to try to reattach these wires and see if I can get this to work. Because I cannot for the life of me find the replacement part. It's around here somewhere, but I can't find it. So I've cracked open the feeder um, where the battery and the little motor is and I looked for a hole that the line would go through and I finally found it. It's a little crack on the top. Um, the problem is is that I don't see where it plugs in at and of course the lines are, are raw. So I believe there's a little plug in that's supposed to go in there but I don't even I don't even see it inside the box. So again I have the battery charging. Um, I'm not going to put it too far away from the house. Uh, I can always bring the battery back to the house and charge it if it goes dead. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do until I can figure out another way or I watch several YouTube videos and I guess I need to find one that's just a little bit, has a little bit better explanation. But for right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that solar panel off. Put everything back together again i'm letting the battery charge inside i'll go ahead and put the legs on it i've got the corn in my truck ready to go and hopefully this afternoon i'm going to be able to go out here and get everything set up so All right, I just spent the last hour putting up cameras and uh, trying to set up my corn spreader. Uh, the battery's dead, it wasn't throwing. I think I need to oil it up, but it's set up. And tomorrow, after the battery's charged, I'll go back out there, throw the battery in, and fill it full of corn, and make sure it works. And uh, I set up five cameras at different spots. No, I take that back. I set up four cameras at different spots. I had two out, and I got one more that I need to put batteries in, but I ran out of batteries. So right now I need to finish up my day 
I need to get down here, turn on my uh, fences, and uh, get the greenhouse set back up and feed my chickens. Well, I've had a pretty busy day, even though <laughs> I didn't get hardly anything on video. So, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, leave a comment, and uh, thanks for coming by. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some pictures from my uh, hunting cams. So, enjoy the show. You guys have a great day.